sample problem on stages survey ulit tayo. So again, this is a combination of um, computing horizontal and vertical distances no, from transit and another point na kung saan nakaset up yung stage natin. So meron tatlong parts yung problem na to and then uh, simulan natin sa first part. Transit was set up at point A, the stage rod is placed at point B and C. And then meron tayong reading showing stage intercepts S from B and C as 2.001 and 0.6 meters. No? And then yung distances natin from uh, AB and AC are measured as 200 meters and 60 meters respectively. Uh, compute the stadia interval factor na. Okay. Okay, so dito tayo sa sketch natin. Problem sketch, meron tayong transit dito. So this is our transit. And then, ganyan, no? So, meron tayong dalawang points. We have uh, point B and point C. Okay. So this one is the uh, measurement of the distances. Dito yan, no? And then dito. Okay. So assuming na swak na swak yung lines natin, this one is uh, 60 meters. And then, eh, mali pala tayo, no? Dapat dito lang yung 60 meters natin. This one is the 60 meters. This one is the 60 meters. And then extend natin tong isang yellow na to. Okay. And this one is actually the, uh, yeah. This one is 60 meters. And this one is 200 meters. So this is point A. This is point B. This one is point C. Okay, so yung stadia natin. Tapos yung site natin is uh, mula dito, papunta dito. Hindi na lang. Ito yung ano, no? uh, ay, vertical, uh, upper, tapos ito yung lower. And then, meron tayong S. Yung S natin dito, S A B equals uh, 0.600 meters. 6. Yung S naman natin dito as A C is equal to 2.001 meters. Okay? So, required na sa atin dito is uh, yung K. So, first, we have distance uh, A B. Distance A B, that's uh, D A B equals... Uh, K, S, A, B, S, A, B, plus, F, plus, C, yun. Tapos, uh, ito kasi wala, eh. hindi tayo binigyan ng F, A, uh, F uh, plus, C, no? So, ibig sabihin, uh, okay na din na dalawa yung points sa kinuha, no? So, uh, dapat talaga na dalawa yung points kunin, no? Pag hindi tayo binigyan ng stadia constant. So, D, uh, A, C, is equal to K, S, A, C, plus F plus C and then sa subtract natin yan kukuha natin yung uh, K natin no? so DAB minus DAC that's uh, 200 ano, kahit na mag negative yan positive pa rin yung K natin mamaya no? so that's uh, 60 minus 200 equals K tapos meron tayong uh, SAB what's SAB? SAB is 0.6 So that's 0 0.6 minus 2.001 Tapos ito, magkakansal na ito, no? F, kasi F plus C, F plus C minus So mag-0 yan So we will have K K equals, ito negative Ito rin magne-negative, so positive pa rin yung makukuha natin, okay? So that's, uh, K is 60 minus 200 Divided by 0.6 minus uh, 2.001 So, hindi baling magkabaliktad-baliktad yung ano natin. Ano? Kunwari, uh, AC minus AB as long as uh, consistent silang dalawa. No? Pag uh, AB minus AC, dapat dito AB minus AC din para hindi siya magne-negative yung K natin. So, K natin is just 99.93 So, this is now our stage interval factor na K. So, dito tayo sa second part. Second part natin, another point is sighted at vertical angle of uh, positive 4 degrees, 22 minutes, and stadia intercept of 2.2 meters. Compute the elevation from, or at point D, if the elevation at A is 100. Use stadia constant of 0.3. So, meron na binigay na F plus C, or yung stadia constant natin. So, sketch natin yung uh, uh, second part. So, we have uh, the transit natin, nakaangat din Naka-inclined ulit, tapos meron tayong, uh, yan. And then you have the stadia here. 
So this one is actually yung sight natin is nakagano no. This is the middle, this is the upper, this one is the lower. And then yung angle, yung angle natin from the horizontal to your middle is uh, 4 degrees 22 minutes or that's equivalent to so 22 divided by 60 that's 0.367 so this is uh, 4.367 degrees okay so ko convert na natin yung minutes to uh, degrees kasi meron tayong uh, 60 minutes equals 1 degree Diba? So, therefore, mamultiply lang natin ng, or i-divide lang natin ng uh, 60 para makuha natin yung equivalent na degree sa minutes. Okay? So, delete lang natin ito. No? And then, you have the stadia interval factor. Ano, uh, that uh, intercept. The intercept is 2.12 meters. And then, ito daw, yung elevation daw natin dito sa, sa line na to. This one is at elevation. Uh, elevation 100 meters. Dito yan, ah. Yung elevation dito. Okay. Uh, Ibahin na lang natin yung kulay na para mas, mas cool. Char lang. So, this one is at elevation. This one is at elevation 100 meters. Elevation 100 meters. Okay. So, yung kukunin natin is yung elevation dito, na no? Dito naman na elevation. Elevation D. Yeah, elevation D. So, elevation D is the required. So, yan. For this uh, problem, wala na namang binigay na HI. No? So, yung HI natin, supposedly ito yung HI natin. No? Yung height ng instrument, that's a HI. Tapos, uh, yun, mag a na naman tayo na yung HI prime natin dito. And yung HI is just the same. So, assuming, again, HI is just equivalent to HI prime. Pero again, uh, dapat sa actual na field survey, most likely magkaiba yung values ng height of instrument natin sa yung recorded dito na elevation. No? And then, ang uh, equation natin dito is uh, magagamit natin yung vertical distance natin na uh, VD. No? So, yeah, VD is measured from here to here. That's actually VD. VAD. Yan, VAD. So, yung elevation D natin, dapat ano yan, no? Uh, elevation D is 100 meters plus HI plus VAD minus HI prime. Okay? Ganun dapat, no? But since, uh, yun nga, walang binigay sa atin na HI, tapos uh, wala din binigay na record dito sa HI prime natin para dito sa height ng uh, stadia, so, mag tayo na HI sa equivalent to HI prime. So, magkakansal yung dalawang yan. Yung elevation D natin is just equivalent to 100 plus vertical distance na AD. So, i-compute lang natin dito ngayon yung AD. Okay? So, AD is just equivalent to uh, vertical distance AD. AD is just equivalent to KS. And then, you have sine alpha cosine alpha plus F plus C sine alpha. Okay? And then you have the K is actually dito tayo sa kabila. 99.93 99 99.93 times S yung S natin is 2.12 kung di ako nakakamali. That's uh, 2.12 meters 2.12 meters Tapos meron tayong sine of, uh, angle natin is 4.367, sine 4.367, cosine 4.367, plus, that's a bracket, plus, 0.3 yung stadia constant natin, 0.3 cosine, ah uh, no, sine, sine 4.367, okay? So, VAD, VAD is just equivalent to, that's uh, 99.93 times 2.12, sine times sine, sine 4.367 
times cosine 4.367 plus 0.30 times sine 4.367. 16.107 or that's 16.11 16.11 meters so that's a vertical distance ang elevation natin ngayon elevation D is equal to 100 meters plus 16.11 meters elevation D is 116.11 meters okay? so that's the elevation D. So, meron na tayong answer let for the second part. Dito naman tayo sa third part natin. Third part is uh, compute the horizontal distance from A to D. Okay? So, ang third part is just uh, H ito yan, ha? Oh. This one is the third part. The H A D. The horizontal distance from uh, A to D. So, again, this is point A. Kung saan yung uh, yung transit natin, tapos ito yung point D. Okay? Yan. So, HAD AD is just equivalent to KS tapos uh, cosine squared alpha plus F plus C no. <laughs> F plus C cosine alpha. Oops. Cosine, oops. Cosine alpha. Okay. So, ang K natin is uh, 99 point something. 99.93. That's 99.93. Oops. 93 times uh, S is 2.12. 2.12 cosine of um, cosine squared 4.367. Bracket plus 0 0.30 cosine of 4.367 HAD is as equal to we have 99.93 times 2.12 times cosine of 4.367 squared and then plus 0 0.30 times cosine 4.367 is equal to 210.92. So, that's 210.92 uh, meters. Yan. Yan yung horizontal distance natin from A to D. I think yun na yun para sa sample problem natin. No? So, uh, yan. Meron tayong horizontal distance. Meron tayong vertical distance. Elevation, no? Elevation at point D. And then, ito. So, again, no, take note na no, ito yung uh, general na equation natin. Ito yung general, general na equation para sa elevation. No? Pero dito kasi walang binigay na HI tsaka walang binigay na record or reading dito sa middle na crosshair. I-assume lang natin na HI is uh, equivalent to HI prime para VD lang yung makukuha natin. Pero ito talaga yung general na ano. No? Uh, ano lang no, trigo, trigonometry lang, distance to distance. Para makuha mo yung distance na to, kailangan mo lang i- Ito, plus ito, plus ito, minus, minus ito, no? So, yun, yun lang yun, para sa problem na to, no? And sana medyo mali na yung pagka-discuss natin. And thank you ulit sa panonood and see you again sa next na video natin. Salamat.